Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Abbas video. Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Um, somebody actually requested Appa to make a video on curry me. Yeah. Um, now you probably have some ideas why is it I don't like to cook curry me at home because. You need so many items. Actually, anything too troublesome, Abba, Appa seldom do it at home. I will just go out and eat. Of course, now it's during the, the moment and when I'm uh, making this video, it is still doing uh, movement control. Therefore, we can't really go out. So, for this particular reason, Appa will make it a point to make this video for you. Okay, I hope uh, you like this video. Uh, don't be uh, carried away by so many items here. I will point out to you which are the more important items. So some other items, if you don't have, you just skip it. Don't worry, it's op uh, it can be optional, yeah? Because you are making at home, don't worry. You are not making it for sale. Now, let me just quickly point to you two most important flavor to a Malaysian curry mee, all right? Number one is this, clam. Okay, this is very important to give it the seafood tea flavor. And um, Malaysian curry mee is more towards seafood flavor rather than anything else, okay? So what you do with clam, after you boil it, you can actually soak it under salted water for like maybe 30 minutes. After that, you can take them out and wash one by one, uh, wash away the sand inside the clam, yeah? Then another thing, very important is this thing, dried shrimp, okay? Extremely difficult to find during MCO period, my God. So difficult to find. Um, dried shrimp, at least about, um, I have about two tablespoons of dried shrimp here. I already washed it. Uh, this thing is about one, uh, one bowl full of uh, clams. So these two is actually the, the main ingredient for this dish. Surprise? <laughs> Okay, so let's look at uh, some other thing here. Uh, well, first, we look at how we make the curry paste. This is about two teaspoons of red chili powder, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder. If you don't have these three, go and use curry powder. Okay, the ready mix curry powder. Up to you. Um, then you look at some of the herbs. We have, uh, okay, I'm supposed to use more shallot. The, this is actually the Indian, uh, the small, uh, mo small, uh, small Indian red onion. A little bit more spicier, okay? But I already run out of the onion here. Therefore, I choose to add in some big onion as well. It will add to the sweetness of the dish. I have one piece of Galangal here, also called blue ginger. It will give you some really nice fragrance. Okay, really, really nice uh, citrusy fragrance. This is very nice. So about one thumb size, okay, of uh, Galangal or blue ginger. Similar amount of normal ginger. Two cloves of garlic. And we have a bit of curry leaf. If you have it, it's okay. If you don't, it's all right. Don't worry. Then, um, for the ingredients, for my me, I'm going to add some uh, prawns today. And then I have, I'm, I'm going to add some tau pok, yeah? Ooh, tau pok tastes very good if curry me, I'm telling you. Uh, my wife can eat two bowls of this. <laughs> and this is some fried fuzu, yeah? And I have some bean sprout, yeah? So uh, always remember to soak your bean sprout under water, okay? If not, it will oxidize very easily. And then you see some bihun here and some yellow me. Uh, I'm a yellow me person, so I'm, I'm eating this. My wife and my mother-in-law is the bihun person, so they will be eating this. And I have some uh, coconut cream powder, okay? If you have fresh coconut or uh, or the packet coconut cream, you can use it. Also quite difficult to find right now, and so I'm using the powder. So did I miss anything here? Let me see, yep. Yep, so 
uh, what we are going to do is let's make the uh, the broth yeah and we are going to start by blending all these things eh, and saute and to get and make the curry paste okay let's start the exciting part i'm going to put in some oil well you need a bit more oil here i have put in about three to four tablespoon because uh, we are going to make some uh, put in some curry later the, the the curry powder all that is going to absorb your oil so uh, i have as you can see from here i have blended my fresh ingredient and oh, fresh herbs and i have also blended my dried shrimp okay so we are going to saute these two The, this is the galangal, ginger, onion, and garlic, and also the dried shrimp. Uh, take note, I don't call this curry laksa. I'm only call it curry, curry me. Yeah, I don't have laksa leaf. <laughs> if you can find, if I have laksa leaf, then I'll probably call it differently. Okay, you definitely need a bit more oil here. Okay, you want to saute for at least two, three minutes <coughs> before we continue. We will come back shortly. All right, this is after the approximately three minutes sauteing. You can see the color already turned darker. Okay, meaning uh, uh, the ingredient inside started to be uh, cooked, yeah? And the fragrance is really coming up nicely. Then we can actually put in the curry leaves. Optional, okay, this is optional. I'm going to tune down the fire now because I'm about to add the curry powder. Curry powder can get burned very easily, so always do it in low heat or low medium heat. Yeah. Oh, so fragrant. Ooh -hoo. My friend was telling me that uh, her mom after watching my videos, tend to uh, talk like cooking apa. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, quite funny. Okay, use uh, low medium heat to slowly saute our curry paste here. You don't want to burn your curry paste, okay? So let's take another two, three minutes to saute this. If you feel it's too dry, feel free to add a little bit more oil okay so again we come back shortly okay this is after approximately another three minutes of sauteing you start to seeing the oil started to break uh, for those who doesn't understand the meaning of the oil started to break you actually start to seeing the oil here see separating out i did not add any oil just now all right it just started to uh, came up. This is a sign telling you your curry paste is almost there. So uh, let's continue with the next step. So I'm going to tune out. Oh, I think I missed out one introducing one ingredient just now, which is chicken broth. It, is, it's, it actually was in my microwave just now defrosting. Okay, now we can turn out the heat and add in the chicken broth. Okay, you need a, a broth for this. Then, I'm going to add more hot water. So I'm turning out the fire right now. We are going to bring this to a boil. We will come back once it is boiling. Okay, it has started to boil. Now we can actually put in the prawn, 
but you don't want to overcook them uh, after about a minute or two we will actually take it out mm, maybe find it around two two minutes Because this is, uh, if you are steaming your prawn, usually it's about three minutes. This is putting inside a boiling water. Within two minutes, it should be, see, all oh, it's started to club already. And you want to devein your prawn, yeah? Ooh, very fast. I think it doesn't need two minutes. Okay, while doing that, I'm going to put in the uh, the clam. Put the side. Why well, I'm using this because uh, I don't want to cook my clam for too long. I just want the flavor from the clam to release. Yeah. I think the prawn is almost done. Okay. Almost cooked. Yep, I think it's cooked. It's fully cooked. Okay. Actually, uh, we can put the we can cook the clam for less than one minute. Maybe thirty seconds is more than enough. Anything be within a minute, yeah. Or at least cook until the clam started to open it's not fully open yet maybe we, we need a little bit more than one minute okay let it cook for a while we will come back shortly um i'm not i won't be wasting time for those clam which is already widely open i'm going to take it out to avoid overcook yeah some open earlier than the rest And for those who never uh, wish never open, probably you don't want them. <laughs> okay. All right. There's few doesn't seems to want to open. Um, I suspect it may be spoiled, so I may not want them. Okay. Uh, but let's not waste our time. We want to soak our tofu tofu inside. Yeah. The food dry, uh, fried food soup can put towards the end. I think these three refuse to open. I give up. <coughs> so for those who has opened here, it's here, right? Just stand by. So we're going to cook our tofu pork here, and also I'm going to add <coughs> the coconut powder. See, immediately it started to change color. The whole broth become a lot more creamier. And you start smelling the nice coconut flavor, yeah? Okay, so I'm going to let this uh, continue cooking my uh, tau pok for at least another 15 minutes. Then we can start preparing our noodles and also vegetable. Just blend your noodles and vegetable. 
If you prefer your color to be uh, more reddish, just put a, a bit more red chili oil. Oh, sorry, uh, red chili oil or red chili powder or dried chili. Yeah, or dried chili, dried red chili. Okay, we can, um, our curry broth is definitely ready. What we need to do now is just to add in a little bit of, uh, adjust it to taste yeah, using some salt and some sugar. Let me just quickly taste it. Oh, my tofu pot. You can imagine how flavorful it's going to be later. Mmm. Ah, oh, so nice, so flavorful. Savory, naturey sweetness. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, fish sauce. This is optional. Okay, and fish sauce is very salty, be very careful. All right, our curry is, the broth is ready. Now let's do the noodles and branching of uh, the veggie. So you prepare one boiling water here. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of oil inside. And some salt. I want to flavor the noodles, yeah? So I'm going to put in some salt inside. Basically, I have tamba noodle for myself, meaning uh, actually this is a bit more than what uh, people will find outside. This is a large version, yeah. Uh, where is the... Uh -huh, here. This will not take very long. The moment it is uh, boiling again, it is basically done, yeah? So uh, we will come back very shortly. Okay, this is about approximately 40-50 seconds. Okay, so we can take the noodles out. Actually, when the uh, uh, hawkers do it, they I think they will only blend it like uh, maybe 10 seconds or 10-20 seconds the most. But because their water is really boiling, yeah? They are, so, but hours, the moment you put your noodles inside, it has, uh, it will actually uh, stop boiling. So, they are, will be fastest, okay? Will be a lot faster than us. You can also mix some bihun, okay? Uh, uh, I don't like mixing bihun, I prefer yellow meat. So, it's totally up to you. Okay, then I'm going to cook some... Uh, this is the uh, tauge. So while you won't take a long time for the tauge as well, while waiting for the tauge, actually, ah, maybe, never mind, let me just wait for tauge. It's, it's everything, try to make everything uh, clearer for you all to follow. Some of the sieve I can't seem to find. Hey. Okay, it's here. Okay, tauge done. I'm gonna take it out, put it at the side. I'm a tauge person, so I put a lot. If you don't like tauge, put lesser, or you can put any other AVG that you like. Don't worry. Okay, and then I'm going to blend some fuzhou. You can also put the fuzhou inside, fried fuzhou inside the curry broth also, nah, up to you. Fuzhou will actually, will actually be very fast. Okay, fuzhou done. I'm gonna put the photo here. Okay, let me adjust the angle for you so that you will know what exactly I'm... Uh, do I have to adjust angle for you? Let me adjust. Maybe this is clearer. Okay, so I have some photo here. Let 
Then I have some prawn. I have some clam. I'm just making this bowl for myself, alright? I need I need to make three portions actually for my family member. Okay, some clam. And I actually happen to have some roast pork at home, so I'm going to add some roast pork. Right. Next step. Going to put in some tau po. And also add in the broth. Ooh, this is the magic moment that you all will be uh, waiting for. Ooh. Okay, my broth is probably not enough for three bowls. <laughs> I will have to adjust the broth a little bit. My meat, my noodles is too much. Okay, I will adjust later, never mind. Let me adjust the angle. All right, so here's my uh, uh, cooking appa's curry mee at home. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.